Hello, I'm Cascobi. It's been a while. Uh, I recently uploaded my 1 million subscriber special to YouTube, which if you haven't seen yet, I highly encourage you do so. It's some of my proudest work. And also because this video is gonna be a massive spoiler fest for this video right here. So if you haven't seen it yet, go and do that now. I wanted to break down the actual light show that went into making this video possible, just go into some of the detail of what went through my head making the actual light effects, but also show you a little bit more detail about the light show itself, because the light show, of course, any light show, in fact, it's just MIDI notes. At its core, it's just piano. So I wanted to break that down in a slightly more unique and interesting way by actually taking those piano notes and playing them through a piano so that we can actually hear what the light show sounds like. You'll understand when we get to it. And I'll chip in every now and again to talk about some of my favorite light effects, what actually inspired me to make the light effects and how I actually did it. So let's have a look at that now. Starting off the video strong with some almost unlistenable audio. So this first light effect was actually heavily inspired by the kind of computer startup sequence that happens at the beginning of Overkill, which if you listen to it in the context of the whole album, the previous song, everything sort of seems to shut down uh, and then it leads into Overkill where of course everything starts back up again, makes that kind of computerized sort of startup sequence. So I sort of pulled together this almost command prompt style light effect to highlight a lot of the details in the kind of automated voice here, uh, bringing attention to the target locking for example uh, and just putting together a whole light effect that felt iconic but simple enough to get the video started. You can actually hear the light effect start to speed up as it approaches the first main section of the video here. This section coming up is probably one of the best examples of what you see is what you hear. Just have a listen. What's funny about this section is because the light show matches the song so closely, you can actually hear the original rhythm coming through in the light show. About 80% of the light effects in the drop section are made with a new method of light making that I call layer masking. Essentially dynamically combining two light effects together, one which is a looping gradient effect and another colorless light effect which allows the gradient to shine through certain buttons, creating a different effect every time and making something more complex almost instantly. It's a really cool effect that I've never shown off before and I thought Overkill would be the best place to debut it. I love these twisty light effects, they're some of my favorites. Just like before, you can almost hear the rhythm coming through in this section, except this time it's the melody, but it's different because it's got some sort of weird vibrato thing going on because of course the velocity of the MIDI notes is how we change the color. So the color is directly mapped to the loudness of the note. I threw everything at this section of the light show. Not only layer masking, like I said earlier, but also velocity randomizing, which has an incredible effect on the piano, but an even more interesting effect on the light show. Going off the light show topic for a moment, this is easily my favorite shot in the whole video. It's a perfectly executed automated focus pull to track my hands going across the two launch pads. You don't notice it until you realize the foreground's out of focus all of a sudden. The 
target lock light effect. Easily the most iconic light effect in the whole video. This thing speaks for itself, it's just perfect. This was actually the very first light effect I made for Overkill, all the way back in January 2020, long before we knew what that spiky ball virus thingy was. Somebody scream! Ah. I imagine this is closely comparable to what going insane sounds like. I would know, I edited Overkill. There are over 500,000 MIDI notes in this entire light show, which means that every time a single launchpad LED turns on or off, that represents one of you guys. That is insane. So there's an in-depth look at all 500,000 MIDI notes that went into making this video a reality. Uh, I really enjoyed making this sort of technical breakdown type video and I hope you guys do too. Uh, it just feels really good to be back making content for YouTube again. Uh, I've got a few more things planned. Uh, I'd like to go a little bit more in depth with Overkill as well. So actually making another video answering your questions. So if you've got any burning thoughts about the video, leave them in the comment section of either this video or Overkill and uh, we'll hopefully have a look at those in a future video. Whether that happens, I don't know. My upload schedule is flaky at best. Uh, it's been a little quiet for the last couple of years. So if the video happens, it'll happen. So I'll see you in that one. And thank you again for watching.